Test, test, one, two, three. Good afternoon, everyone. We are 24th of August, 2024. It's currently 12.04 p.m. in the UK. And we are episode six of the 513.62 EMA strategy. And what a killer week it has been in the markets. I've caught some killer, killer moves. And I'm super, super excited to share with you what I've caught, how the market's played out. And as mentioned in the free Trade Masters Telegram group, I most of the time will be posting the trades that I've caught or I'm getting in. Uh, let's dive straight into this. So on August 20th, I posted that I was selling US 30 and I just put a comment, just sold US 30, had the whole flip selling high and target for TP1 is the box where there is imbalance to be filled. We'll see how this plays out. And if we dive straight over to US 30, so let's just switch. So I sold, I sold around here and we had imbalance in this box here. Can you see from this wick to this body of this candle here there is imbalance right so this imbalance area i had as a target and i that's one of the reasons why i sold and i knew that that imbalance had to be filled in at some point so market did drop down we was hovering around hovering around hovering around and then this candle here filled in the imbalance so this wick here filled in the imbalance so that was great tp1 got smacked and then price decided to go a little bit lower i did have tp2 at the 62 ema however price decided to react off this institutional candle here so if we just draw a horizontal ray line on the body of this candle here can you see how that just tapped it perfectly to the wick and then just rejected and then that's gone for a bullish move so that would have been a great buy to get in there i didn't actually catch the buy i just cashed out on the sell so this us 30 move played out which was really really good and then the next trade that i posted in the trade masters was bitcoin buys now with this one we had the 5.13.62 ema crossover so they all crossed over i had the alerts go off and the alert actually went off as well for the 13 ema so that's why you can see that i've gone in for a buy as soon as that happened and price started to reject and i thought this was going to go bullish from there the stop loss i actually put around here and what happened was this one did hit my stop loss and i will explain why so if we just jump straight to crypto markets and to bitcoin so price well was we yeah, so we was we was here. So price has come down and it's it stopped me up because I had my stop loss around there. And the reason why was because again it's mitigated its position out of the institutional candle, which is there and on the body here. Okay. So can you see how price has come down again and it's tapped that body of this last down candle before this up move. So it's mitigated its positions. So as soon as I see that it was mitigating out of its positions, although I got stopped out, I did go in for a couple more buys. TP1 was above this high here and then I twin trade this. So I would let the move just play out and hold as long as possible. So if we go back to Trade Masters Group, 
I put first trade was a stop loss as Bitcoin mitigated their position, sell to buy, last down candle before the up move. We'll look to go over next session, still went in for fresh buys, same take profit. So I went in for a couple more buys. This time I had the stop loss below this low here. And as you can see, I had my take profit above this high here. And then the next post that I put the take profit one was smashed which was great and then price just carried on being bullish so that was a really really good trade to catch on bitcoin and it was glad that 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 played out perfectly so really happy with that one gold i sold gold and that was another beautiful trade to catch so let's just try dive straight into gold so with gold we are selling high we had the 513 ema crossover happen here so sold sold here sold here TP1 was the 62 EMA because it wasn't too far away. Uh, so if I go back to here, you can see that I sold from the crossover. And take prof profit was smacked because it, it hit the 62 EMA and then started to reverse. So you could have sold here, caught the move down here, and then you could have bought here and caught the move up here so another beautiful trade caught on gold really really happy with catching that one uh this one i just posted yesterday what a buy this was on on bitcoin euro usd i believe i did play to trade with euro usd as well and yeah euro usd again i did sell the crossover here or the whole flip and thinking that again price will go to the 62 ema as my take profit one however this was break even in the end so made a little bit of profit here and then price decided that it had other ideas and now it's turned back to being bullish so another really killer week really happy with the strategy really happy catching these moves documenting it all in the Trade Masters Telegram group, which again is completely free to join. Link in the description. Uh, the new thing that I've added onto TradingView is the bid and the ask price because it is good to have this on because you can actually see where the current price is. So it just makes life a little bit easier seeing it on TradingView as well as seen it on the fp markets which is my broker again if you're looking for a broker to join i've got the affiliate link in the description this broker is really really good because they let you trade the indices like us 30 on mini lots micro lots you know you don't have to be using standard lots with a lot of these brokers so that's why i like fp markets and it and it's really good that it's on C Trader as well. And I've got the bid and the ask prices on C Trader. So I did mention as well that I will be posting potentially the market news or the market overlay overview for the week. I think it's best moving forward. I think it's around Monday that I'm part of this really, really good group that posts what the potential setups in the market is going to be when i say setups i mean like the news so what i'm going to be doing moving forward is on a monday potentially more than likely on a monday is post the descriptions for each day so for example like what's happening in the market this week and i put the the dates so this is from this date to this date and then Monday, it's just telling you this is going to be a quiet day. 
Tuesday, things are heating up, what to look for when the market's potentially going to be very reactive and potentially got some big swings to look out for and to to catch a lot of pips, make some make some money. So I'm going to be posting this in the description on the Monday after this video is posted. So don't forget to subscribe and look back at the description because this is this is really good outlook for for the week. Also make note of this website bookmarketmyfxbook.com if you go to the economic calendar you can also see for the week ahead all the news that's going to be happening in the markets i have a quick look over this and just really pay attention to the the high impact ones i'm not too fussed about the low impact or the medium impact and just having a quick look through this monday nothing really happening tuesday again nothing really happening wednesday nothing really happening again as well it all depends what market you're trading as i mainly trade the us 30 i'm more interested in the usa news so i kind of look for that but for example if you're trading like euro usd then really you want to be looking at euro as well as the United States dollar. If you're trading in Great British pounds, then obviously you, you're more likely going to be interested in what's happening in GBP news. Moving on to Thursday, this is where it gets a little bit exciting because this is the coming to the end of the month. So as you can see here on Thursday, August 29th at 1.30 p.m. UK time, we have the NF NFP, which is the non-farm payroll. And this is the jobless claims. This really moves the market like big time. So just a quick Google, have a read up on this. The NFP is a monthly report that estimates the net number of jobs gained in the US in the previous month, excluding those in farms, private households and non-profit organisations. Have a read up on this every single month at the end of the month. This always happens and it really, really moves the market. Like you get some serious swings that happen. So really excited for August the 29th. This is really going to move the market and that is it there's nothing really on happening on the on the friday so what i'm going to do moving forward is just have a look at the economic calendar at the end of the strategy video just have a quick look to see what's going on and that's it that's it for this this week another really good week in the market some really good trades caught super excited for next week again i'm thinking there's going to be some really good nice swings and yeah really enjoying the strategy the alerts are really helping with trading view again i am an affiliate now with trading view so if you don't have an account with them already and you're looking get to get those 20 alerts for this strategy link is in the description just sign up with that really appreciate it appreciate the support and I will see you in the next one. Have a good weekend.